Hi, Peter Charles here for to Fly Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie a fly called the Assassin. Now, it looks like something we'd use in the Great Lakes. It's, it has a woolly worm type appearance, very buggy, very natural uh, in, the, in the color scheme. And yet it comes from California, and it's meant for uh, summer run steelhead. So I, I thought, you know, like this looks like it could be a great uh, pattern for our waters as well. So let's get tying and looking at the materials. Our hook is a salmon single in a size four. Our rib is a uni French in a gold. We want the medium size. Our thread is a Vivas 8 aught in black. Our rib is a uni French gold in a medium. The hackle is brown. Our body is a uni mohair in dark olive. And this is a great cheat when you don't want to dub. It's nice and buggy. It looks like a dub body when you're done, but it isn't. And finally, we're going to add some uh, lime green or chartreuse uh, crystal flash to this. So let's get tying. Okay, next to tie in is our brown hackle. It's tied in by the tip. A couple of turns to hold it. Then we tie in our rib. One of the beauties of using something like uni yarn or a uni mohair is I really don't have to get fussy with what's going under that body. I can be yeah, moderately sloppy and you'll never know or you'll never see it. And now for our dark olive mohair. Okay, I'll wind, pull that back and wind it back. Now wind forward. Getting all that tag end all wound up. Okay, now we wind on our mohair. I'm going to make three passes with this. Start with a tight wrap at the back. Keep tension on it, bring it up to the return. See the angle I go at, and then I bring the angle off. This allows me to build a cigar shape. Trim that off, get rid of any stray bits that are going forward. Pull them back, clean it up. Now our rib, put a turn at the back and then come forward. Because I've done a cigar shape, you have to be careful that you keep a continuous, continuously spaced rib. You notice I'm having to do a little bit of playing here to avoid the rib getting too out of uh, out of alignment. Here we go. Small thing, but you know, if you've got wide spacing between one rib and the next one's narrow spacing, it looks a little odd. Fish don't care, but you got to be fussy about some things. Okay, keep that all underneath. Okay, we'll clean that up. Okay, what I'm going to do next is tie on our hackle, or I'm going to palmer it. And I'm going to try to follow the line of the rib as much as possible. And when you put your quill right beside the rib, uh, the rib gives it a, uh, the quill a measure of protection against the teeth of the fish. Okay, now we're just going to push some of this back and see if I can finish off with everything pointing back. I might get a few pointing forward, but we'll try and get them all to point back. 
There we go. Uh, I don't think that quill's going to break. It's a little thick. Now I have a few strays. Let's see if I can clip those off. You can get strays both from the hackle and from the um, mohair. That looks pretty good. So we're just going to clean up the head. And we'll finish. And lastly some hit. Oops. Shoot, I got ahead of myself. I forgot my crystal flash. Okay, bring your thread to the back of the head and get your crystal flash. Tie it in roughly at the middle, a couple of turns, fold back, trap, bind down tightly. And then just trim that off about the length of the body. There we go. And now to whip finish. And lastly, some head cement. Okay, there we go, the Assassin. It's a nice buggy pattern. I like the color scheme. Uh, I like that little bit of flash for the wing. I think that'll do a, a great job as a Great Lakes pattern, despite the fact it was designed for California. I don't think the fish will care all that much. So give it a try, the Assassin. Cheers.